Let's face it, nobody likes writing SOPs. No business owner has ever said, man, you know what? I can't wait to spend three hours writing down this one process in my business. But that being said, you do need SOPs or standard operating procedures if you want your business or your agency to function without you. Creating SOPs is one of the most important things you need to do to get back your time, build leverage, and ultimately scale your business to multi seven or eight figures. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an SOP in half the time that it would normally take you. And Later in the video, I'm also going to give access to my template for writing SOPs to make it even easier for you. But before we get into the actual how-to section of this video, I do need to clarify something. SOPs seem to have suddenly become this go-to thing for scaling agencies. Everyone's talking about them, everyone's working on them, and everyone's telling you they are the essential thing to scaling your business and they'll free up a bunch of your time. And to be honest, those things, they are true, but it's also true that too many people dedicate way too much of your time to SOPs, way too early early into your journey. If you only have a couple clients and your revenues are under like 10K a month, the last thing you should be thinking about is SOPs. In a previous video, I talked about the different tools we use at Hey Digital, which is my seven figure performance marketing agency. One of these tools that we touched on in the video was called Slab, which is what we use for housing, all of our information, documentation, other things like this. However, if you are first getting started, you don't need a tool like Slab. Just use something free like Google Docs, Notion, Airtable, but this is Slab. So this is the central hub for all of our content at my agency, Hey Digital. And so we really heavily rely on documentation, SOPs, processes, as you can see here, all our different teams. We have a bunch of different pieces of content. So first of all, don't get SOPs confused with training. These are two different items within a business. If you're watching this video, you're more interested in SOPs, which is step-by-step -step guidelines or documentation. A typical SOP should be structured a little something like this. So we'll have an overview explaining what this SOP is for. We'll often have a video walkthrough. We'll have definitions of any important things, any prerequisites, so logins that you need, etc., and then the steps to take. Now, if you're doing this in a basic Google Doc, this is an example of what this could look like. This was a basic SOP for AI-powered blog content creation for my SaaS company, Post Trips, which is a LinkedIn AI tool. So you see, overview explains what it is, definitions, prerequisites, and then we get into the actual step by step. Now, this kind of SOP is all that you need at your stage when you're trying to write out clear documentation for your team members so they know exactly what to follow. Now, as your agency grows, as your team grows, you're going to need a better structure for how you present this information. This is another example of an actual SOP for our design team, how to apply custom fonts sourced from a client's website. You see, we explain what this means. We give the clear step by steps with images and we then link to additional SOPs for what to do next in this section, how to apply to the whole page. So as your agency grows, you can become more complex with how you write your SOPs. Often people say when they're writing SOPs, the overview is easy. The video is easy. The definitions is easy. The prerequisites is easy, but the steps, people say this can take hours or, hey, I don't have two hours to sit down and walk through absolutely every step-by-step -step that I take on how to do a task or a deliverable. So I'm gonna show you a couple tips for how to speed this up. You can, of course, use like SOP tools. If you literally search like SOP building tools on Google, you'll find the most popular one is ScribeHow. With this, you can use their Chrome extension. It will document what you're doing on your screen very easily easily. But something that I was experimenting with in preparation for this video actually is if you record a video walkthrough of something that you're doing. So for example, if I go to my previous Loom videos, I just recorded yesterday a video explaining some ideas on how to generate content for a LinkedIn profile for one of our consulting clients. And so what I did was I went to the video, I went to the transcript, I copied the transcript, and then I went to chat GPT and I put this prompt, I created this. So I said, you are SOP GPT, an expert at highly detailed SOPs. I've recorded a video. I'm going to provide you with a transcript in your job is to outline the step-by-step -step instructions. And then I pasted the transcript here. And the output within like 30 seconds was SOP for generating content ideas for posting, covers the objective, covers the tools that are required, and then even covered the step-by-step -step procedures. This in itself is enough for you to quickly create SOPs and cover the step-by-step -step section that normally takes a little bit longer. Now, a couple of things I wanna mention when you are creating SOPs is too many people focus too much on SOPs. They make everything 
everything detailed every single tiny step and this is why it takes so long in my opinion you don't need to do that unless it's a very small task like something that takes 10 15 minutes but if it's a task that could be up to 30 minutes don't go into that level of like every single step by step instead cover the core points or the key areas that you need to cover this video is kind of more tailored towards people at the early stage i guess of their business or their agency when you're first drafting sops but as your business grows as you have more team members come on board there is less of a requirement for you to be the one personally writing all of these sops you delegate this to your team members in different divisions and that's why you can then get to a place of having a clear structure for how to write documentation how to share documentation all these kind of things we have processes for how to do processes for example and then as your documentation evolves you will start to take some of this you'll see we're using slab like i've shared we have our content map this will be things like how to do naming conventions how to do design abbreviations ways of working core values all this kind of stuff but then within your project management software whether you use ClickUp, asana something like this this is where you then have your checklists so you can take information from your sops add them to checklists in your project management software and this will make it much much easier for team members to clearly follow step-by-step -step instructions as well so personally i haven't written an sop in a very very long time now because our team handles that for us but you can see from how we have these things structured what's important for an sop what you should cover how to outline it and also some tips for how to write these faster as well and you could even have like how to know when completed for example so then you know when to move on or your team member knows when to move on to the next step now something else that i want to highlight is sops are really important but just because you've written an sop that doesn't qualify fully as training sops are step-by-step -step guides for larger projects or larger areas within your business you will still need to provide training you can't just give someone an sop and assume that they know how to do everything perfectly so that's how you can write sops fast and efficiently for your agency but having said that writing sops is only one part of the equation there are several other key elements to running your agency, things like clarifying your offer, nailing your onboarding, streamlining your delivery, knowing when and how to hire, setting clear client expectations, getting your data right. Without having any guidance on how to navigate them all, it can be super frustrating and honestly it can take you so much time. It took us five years to get Hey Digital to the point where it is today with over one and a half million in annual recurring revenue. Not only that, it also means that those that do have guidance will likely get ahead of you faster ultimately leaving you with a smaller piece of the pie. That's why for those who are serious about growing and scaling their agency and reaching some level of freedom without having to be stuck in their day-to-day -day work every single day, we've decided to put together a coaching and consulting program. We are working one-to-one -one directly with agency owners who are doing over 10k a month and helping you scale to the one and a half million ARR run rate whilst removing yourself from the day-to-day -day operations, something that we've been able to do very successfully successfully at Hey Digital. We're actually only working with two other agencies right now and we have space to onboard two more agencies within the next month. It will be completely custom done with you work covering our eight core pillars for scaling your agency and working really closely with you on any of the challenges that you might be facing. Also if you want to learn a little bit more about me and my journey you can click this video here and learn how I started my agency from scratch and grew it to one and a half million dollars a year. I really hope you found this video valuable. If you did be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.